I'd like to talk about the absolute best remedy to lower your cholesterol. Not that cholesterol is bad, but let's say, for example, you're doing the ketogenic diet and your cholesterol goes up and you're a bit concerned. Well, there's a couple things you need to know. Number one, your body makes cholesterol. In fact, 75% of all the cholesterol in your body is made by your body. Only 25% comes from the diet. So our body needs cholesterol. Also, when you burn fat, Part of that fat is cholesterol. So when you lose weight, the cholesterol has to come out. So you may notice a increase in your cholesterol for a period of time. Now, if you're on a low carb diet, you don't need to be concerned. Some people that are concerned should do something called the advanced lipid profile test. That will do a deep dive into the type of LDL particle size that you have. And there's different types of LDL. Um, I'm gonna put a link down below if you're not familiar with that, but that's a whole different topic. But just so you know, uh, cholesterol in itself is not a good indicator of whether you have heart disease or not. A much better test is the CAC test or what is called the coronary artery calcification test. But that's a really good test to do uh, as a predictor of mortality. But I wanna share with you some really interesting information about cholesterol. Now, you have the liver you have the bile ducts, and you have something called the gallbladder, right? So bile that is made by your liver, stored in your gallbladder, is used as a primary way that you remove cholesterol from it. So I'm not sure if you knew that or not, but bile is a really, really important uh, fluid in the body that is essential in regulating cholesterol. And bile is actually even made from cholesterol. Bile is like a detergent that helps you break down fats in general. It helps you extract fat-soluble vitamins. It helps to prevent uh, microbes from accumulating in your small intestine. So you can prevent a condition called SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Bile is also essential for extracting omega-3 fats from your diet. In fact, all your fat-soluble vitamins cannot be absorbed unless you have bile. So it's very, very important. There's two types of bile, okay? You got primary bile, which is made by your liver, but you also have something else called secondary bile salts, which is made by your microbiome, you know, the friendly bacteria in your large intestine. And so if there's any problem with your microbiome, okay, that could be the reason why you don't have enough bile. Um, and that could be the reason why your cholesterol is even going higher. So we need a very healthy, diversified microbiome to make enough bile to be able to regulate cholesterol. In fact, there's some interesting studies out there that shows that taking probiotics significantly lower cholesterol. And if you don't already know this, fiber also reduces cholesterol. I wonder why? Well, because it feeds the microbes that then make bile salts. And I'm not talking about taking a fiber supplement. I am talking about consuming vegetables or even better yet, a combination of fermented vegetables that have not only the prebiotic, but the probiotic, as in kimchi or sauerkraut. Now, another common remedy that's been totally proven to lower LDL and increase HDL um, is niacin. Okay, that's B3. Niacin also, by the way, increases the conversion of cholesterol to bile. So niacin is another interesting piece of the puzzle that can help lower cholesterol directly as well as help you have more bile to then remove the cholesterol if it's in an excess amount. Now, another interesting note is that when people have their gallbladders removed, um, the VLDL increases, okay? This is very low density lipoproteins. So in other words, if you remove the gallbladder, you might not have enough primary bio, bile salts to take away this cholesterol and certain lipids can start increasing. So one of the best remedies for helping you with cholesterol is probiotics. And I highly recommend you get your probiotics from food if possible. Sauerkraut is awesome. Kimchi is amazing. But you can also do a probiotic supplement as well. Now, let's say, for example, you have a genetic problem with cholesterol or you have a lipid profile that you're a little concerned about and you really want to lower this cholesterol, you can also add tutka, which is a certain type of bile salt that you can buy that will help you lower your cholesterol, as well as niacin. Don't get the niacinamide, get the niacin version of B3, and that will create a nice 
cholesterol lowering effect. Now, the next most important video for you to watch is the one on LDL. There's actually two different types of LDL. And I put that video up right here. Check it out.